got the Profile 45 4 mat 4 Felder Shaper set up today with a 80 millimeter 14 knife carbide steel profiling head set up there. I'm going to be running this Fish brand 18 millimeter square on the main part of it and it's called the Curvin Lin Fix Profile uh, flexible curve. I use a series of holes that I pre-drilled. What I do is I go in and draw a line on the, this is my cutting line here, done that in ink. This is on the back side of this piece of molding that I'm preparing. This is a white oak. I've got some angular cuts like a 14 and a quarter degrees on both sides for 28 and a half for these three and then I have a five degree angle for that. Uh, so I go in and mark with my line and my French curves how I want the inside outside radius to be. Then I go by with a small hammer and I'll move the flex curve into that position. Once I get it bent, I'll tap it once and then I go back in with a sixteenth of an inch diameter metal working bit and do a pilot hole. After that I can put my screws straight in there and they don't walk. If you're going into a softer wood it still will walk on you if you try to put those screws in there straight away without the pilot hole. Now I had made some previous cuts around this curve here. That came out pretty good. Now I'm going to go in. I, I run a series of, of uh, excuse me a second. Put the electricity out. I run a series of rings starting out with a uh, hundred millimeter diameter. This is an 80 on here, which was my final cut. So I went in a series of three different diameters of rings that go on the bearing with the 100 millimeter height submerged a little bit below the table for this particular operation. Now I'm going to lock down the spindle and put on a larger ring to do this first of a three series of cuts. That's just too much meat to try to be taking off in one pass. So I'll press this bearing out, put in my 100 millimeter. Now I'm riding the bearing on the top. I have a washer here with a shoulder on it and that keeps the bearing floating. If you had just a straight washer and went out and hit this little shoulder of the ring, then the ring wouldn't spin independent of the profile head. This is running at 10,000 RPM on a 30 millimeter spindle. These are three edge carbide knives so you can rotate those if you think it's getting a little dull. So that's how it's going to come up here at first. Lock the spindle.
to 90. If you go from 100 down to 80, it'll grab it and you might have to go in and change your jeans. Okay, here's the 90. This particular model of the Felder brand has a five-speed pulley down below and I'm on the fastest spin rate that this machine has. Spindle. square profile that I'm using here has a six inch radius and that that's the smallest they recommend that you attain with this particular format. Now they have another reddish orange one that's 12 millimeters. We're going with the 80 millimeter ring on the bearing on this run. So the 12 millimeter is much more flexible. I should take this apart and lubricate that. And the 12 millimeter is not quite as high, and but for nice straight cuts, the 18, even though it's not as flexible, I think is a more sure approach to getting this contour profile to be a smooth cut. So here we go. is very low and that is a safety factor in cutting some of this. Now I'm going, I'm getting a little rougher cut right in here because I must be going against the grain a little bit but otherwise for what it is and what it does it's a very fast system to get your curves and, and uh, plot what you want to do. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.